Thousands of stories have been told about the brave men and women who, who, res, who, who wrestled Kenya out of the firm grip of colonial masters. One of such stories is that of Musa Nyandusi Boyako, a chief from Kisi, who at the height of agitation provided a refuge for freedom fighters such as Kenya's founding President Jomo Kenyatta. Chief Nyandusi's nephew, 94-year-old Stephen Kiana Bonike, spoke to the Kenyan News Agency about this piece of history and how it helped shape Kenya's march to freedom. Until the lion learns to speak, the tales of the hunt will always favor the hunter. Hence the tale of the famous chief Musa Nyandusi Boyako is told by his 94-year-old nephew, Stephen Kiana Bonike, to ensure history is not forgotten. Musa, akaja ibarabara kutoka kizi kuja kwa ke hapo nyuzia. Kufika hapo kegati. Waka kutana na mzee kenyata. Waka musimamisa. Wakasungumusa, wanaka muambia, tuliitu wa kisi na wana dizi, kutuambia ya kwamba, wewe umeonekana hapa, tukikutua ukamatwe. Unakuja kufundisa wa kisi mau mau. Musa kambia yule driver alikuwa na mzee, wewe kwenda, wacha mwi na kwenda na uyu mzee. The tales of Mze Kenyatta's resilience to traverse the whole country as the colonialists haunted him down. Hawa bibiru, hawa kutaka Mze Kenyatta, haende kwa kibisigis, haende hata ukambani, haende hata mali popote ya wa Kenya wote waelewe ayo mambo. Mze Nyendusi was among the chiefs who had been notified to track him, but upon meeting him, Nyendusi knew better to shield him instead. Wakasikia mitoka iku hapa inche inakuja mitoke na unguruma hapa inche ya nyumba ya Musa. Musa haka muambia, eh, naona ni police, na madiyo wako hapa, wewe kwenda roomu yangu, sleeping room. Kenyata haka enda sleeping room. Kenyata alipo ingia hapo sitting room una musa katoka inje. Na mna gani muna kuja hapa. Ate uliona muliona mulikutana na kenyata wakati ura na kuja. Musa kasema pana. Sija muona. Pengina liena njia gani sijui. Even when Mze Nyandusi's compound was raided, he will redirect the search team, wait for the veil of darkness and help Mze Kenyata escape. Kufika usiku sijui saa nane hivi. Sa saba sa nane, Musa haka mchukua na mtoka yake, haka musindikisa paka nyamira. Kule nyamira walienda wakapata gari ambayo ni gari kubwa ya mizigo. Sika, kenyata haka ingia ndani, haka rechea kwake. Nyindusi was Kenya's longest serving and last chief secretary before the post was abolished after his retirement in 1987. For Lunchtime News, I'm Sarafina Robbie. This is